I'll tell you what, today is going to be about a revealing Monday. This could be a very interesting topic, set of topics we're going to have today. It's good to be able to be able to join you all. And I am incredibly grateful for this time that we live in with the uh, multitude of individuals with the knowledge you have. And um, I, it's going to become very apparent as to all these strange comments I make because we certainly do have to prepare. You've heard many people speak about what will befall the earth. We've read in the Bible what will befall the earth. We have gone through transitions. We see them in the world and we see them all the time. We know that there's a spiritual component to what we have to do. But how do the two fit together? Here's why I'm stating this. There are many people who look at life through the lens, a very different lens, uh, a lens without a preface or, or a precept in their lives. <clears throat> they live life and they have their ambitions and goals in this world. And we have reached a time where man will begin to reveal what was once hidden because they can no longer hide certain facts. They really cannot. Um, but. The unfortunate part is this, when people see, when they begin to see, it's too late. You know, I had a briefing today that was is just, you know, it goes along with so many other things that uh, are in the Word of God. I can tell you now that people don't know how to react to certain things that are being observed. And we have to clarify some things. So, tonight we're going to hop into Revelation chapter 8. We're going to be using that tonight. Because we're going to have to take another look at it. You see, every time, throughout the course of time, new things are brought forward. Uh, hidden things are, are made known. And, of course, you can speak about spiritual the spiritual component of things as things are revealed to mankind. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we have a... You know, you've heard me say the term earth is in trouble. But I'll tell you this. We, we would do well never to forget the spiritual components of um, what's real. Certainly of our Lord. And so, you know, it's a good thing nobody has seen me yet. Because you guys are really going to think I'm cuckoo. I'm going to say it anyway. I have to say what I'm going to say. You may think I'm cuckoo for saying it. But I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it because I know it's true. There are certain things I have personally observed with my own two eyeballs, right? And it was not something you embrace or it's not something you get excited about and say, wow, I've seen such and such. No. Certain things you see can shake the fabric. It can really just rip the fabric of your own little lifestyle, right? But it, it really is time for us to wake up. For so long throughout the course of our times, we've read the prophecies from a distance. We said, wow, this is coming in the future, maybe. Maybe not in my future, maybe in somebody else's future. Well, I can tell you right now, you can halt that because it's coming in your future. And your future is any moment beyond this very moment right now. So in the next five minutes, that's part of your future, right? I can tell you that these things are coming in your future. And this is why, this is the real reason why we are putting together the COT Science Team. And uh, we're going to have to get, get these things out and have some people truly prepared. I really don't think right now at this point that people are truly prepared. Um, they, they, have, they think they are prepared because they think they know what to expect. They don't know what to expect. Um, it, that would be almost impossible. You can be spiritually prepared in your heart, and, and, and that's good. That is the most important thing, because there's a spiritual component many people don't comprehend. You see, what, what was ancient, and things of old, and even the spiritual realm, is going to be very, very, uh, very, it's going to be understood perfectly by everybody. Right? That's also in the book of Jeremiah, that in the end they would consider it 
perfectly. Right? Because it's very confusing. It's not logical. It does not obey uh, uh, laws and commands and physics or science or anything else. Something so strange will take hold of this earth. No one will have an answer for what's happening. The closest answer you can ever have is in the Bible and through some, not all, through some ancient writings. And all they did was write down the bad things that happened to them. But there will come a time when all men will pray. They will pray. If, if they're an atheist, they're going to pray. And they're going to say, if anybody's out there, please, please help me. Please let me be on your side. L let, let you be on my side and let me be on your side. Because at that point, what is coming up on the earth is something that cannot be, you just can't properly explain it. Right? And it does go along with the dragon, the great red dragon. It does go along with that. Because this thing is more metaphysical than physical. It really is. Many people refer to this thing as, you've heard it, the destroyer. Right? Some, the ancient people referred to this as many different things, but I'm telling you, it is, it is, I have not heard a description based upon what myself and a group of people were briefed on and saw that there's no way in the world you can explain this thing by science or anything else. Science will not do it. it it's not obeying what, what most people think. It, it doesn't. So I give you two happenings. One, you will see an intrusion into our solar system. That's not going to be the problem. It's the indescribable thing that they found very difficult to explain. The one thing in all ancient writings they had in common is this. It made everybody consider and know that God was real. They no longer, they no longer had to, had to, had to, uh, uh, it, it wasn't a belief in their mind. They knew God was real. However, if you think you know, and I know that people do their best jobs, right? And they're not. They, they do a really fantastic job because they're not, you know, they're not privy to um, certain pieces of information. They haven't seen with their own eyes what the true optics are picking up. They don't know that there are certain things out there that do not obey uh, physics or, or different laws and orbits or there's some weird things out there. They're just weird. They don't obey any type of physics or science. In fact, they're indescribable. They haven't seen that. They never, ever uh, explain this to the public because you can't see it yet. Right? And if you can't see it, it's not going to hurt you. But I'm telling you now, there are things that do not obey what we're comfortable with. There's, there, there is no calculation for them. You, you're not going to get a sense of power from them. All right, and our 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 universe is so incredibly vast. There's no way they can share that with a common individual. For one, it would prove that the spiritual realm is all too real, and it will scare you to pieces. Even if you believe in Christ, I'm telling you, it would shake you. It would shake your flesh to behold these things, and it's not something you ever want to see coming. So I give you a caution too. Before you get excited saying that the day of the Lord is near, right? Don't get excited because the day of the Lord is near, right? But be encouraged to be on the right side of the Father. Be on His right side, right? Be on His right side. It is only the spiritual embrace that's going to save who is saved. 